Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to World of Tanks. And you will not have noticed this vehicle in my garage before. Neither will you have noticed this vehicle. Um, the reason that I got these was because I just felt like owning a couple of low-tier French tanks because... France. Um, because without the T-18, these guys are now top of the SEAL clubbing agenda. Um, and so, yeah, this time we're doing a review of the Renault R35, because the first game that I played in this tank, I got seven kills. Um, so, yeah. What I did was, I haven't owned this thing for... I I haven't even owned it for half an hour right now. Um, and I've played one game in it. What I did is I bought it with 100% crew, put vents on it, put camo on it, and that was it. Um... I haven't done anything else to it. I played one game and I got seven kills. It was on Mittenguard, so it's not surprising. But, yeah, this thing is... Oof. Wow. This is a good tank. <laughs> it's a low-tier French tank. What are you expecting? Um, 155 hit points, which is actually not, not that high, really. Uh, just as well. Uh, otherwise, we'd have the OI, or OI Experimental, down here at Tier 2, um, which would not be a good thing. Um... It would be the French OI, this thing. It would be if it had uh, more hit points, like the Panzer II's hit points. Um, but 155 hit points is not that much, really. The T7 combat car is just under it, 5 hit points less than it. T26 has got more than it. Tetrarch obviously hasn't, but T26 does. Panzer II D does. Panzer II, Panzer I as well does. Light 6, once again, 5 below. Um, the FCM... Ooh very low on the hit points there. Um, but the VAE, 170. That's still more than the Renault. So the Renault doesn't particularly have that many hit points. This is the Renault R35. can't remember if I said, if I said that or, or if I just said the R35, but no, this is the Renault R35. So it weighs 10 tons, uh, being weighed down by all of that armour. Um, and it only has a 82 horsepower engine, which is better than the stock engine, which is the Renault S4. F, which has only got 74 horsepower, but, um, yeah, the Renault V4, 82 horsepower, 10 tons, very, very bad. Um, which is why it only has 7.68 horsepower per ton ratio, and it only goes at 23 kilometers an hour, which means that it is not slow, and it is not uh, mobile, really. Um, the traverse speed is alright, it's 34, it's not particularly that high, but it's only tier 2, so yeah. Um, 40 frontal hull armor, 40 at the side, 32 at the rear, so the rear is slightly less armored. Um, we're comparing this, I suppose, directly to the Hotchkiss H35, because this thing is, well, it was the original French light tank at Tier 2 down here. Um, and that has got 40 all around on the hull, whereas the Renault R35 has only got 32 at the rear. The sides are the same and the front is the same, um, but yeah, the rear is 8mm less well armoured, which is... Yeah. Um, the, hu the turret is 40 all round, which is the same as the Hotchkiss, so yeah, it's got pretty much as a Hotchkiss turret, really. Um, here it is, the turret APX-R1, so yeah, it's only for the Renault, but 40 all round turret armor. With the stock turret, once again, 40 all round APX-R, whereas the this is the APX-R1. Um, so, 40 all round turret armor, 24 degrees per second uh, turret traverse, 300 meters view range, 1,250 kilograms weight because it is so well armored down here at tier 2, 40 millimeters is a lot. Um, a Panzer II would have, have would have problems penetrating it from the front with APCR if it was at medium or so range. So yeah, this is a very well armored little tank down at tier 2. Um, and as for the guns, the stock gun is crap. 37 millimeter APX SA18. Um, it's pretty much the same gun that's on the Renault FT. Um, it was the same gun used by it in World War One. So this is a World War One pretty much gun um, with a 23.08 rounds per minute rate of fire, which is which is all right. Um, 29 millimeters of average penetration is terrible. Um, it's not as bad as the Panzer II D, but it's the same as the T1E6. In fact, it's one millimeter less than the T1E6, and the T1E6 is, does not have a very good gun. So, yeah, it doesn't have particularly good 
penetration with uh, with APCR 46 is all right. Um, it's uh, the same as the Panzer II's. Actually, no, it's no that it's the same as the Panzer II D's gun with um, APCR. So yeah, and 18 millimeters of penetration with high explosive, which is not not that much. It's only high explosive. Um, 30 damage all round, 36 was high explosive, but then that's high explosive. Terrible dispersion, 0 0.5, 2 second aiming time, 100 kilograms weight. Yeah, it's a pretty terrible gun. Then you've got the choice of two different guns. You've got the 25mm cannon, um, something or other, um, middle 1934, model 1934, or you've got the uh, SA-38 37mm. So it depends on whether you want alpha damage or penetration, um, because here are the guns compared to each other. I I use the 25mm um, for the higher rate of fire and the better penetration, because penetration. Um, yeah, so here are the two guns. Obviously, the 25mm is only 25mm, the 37 is 37mm. It does say in the names. Um, the 37 has got a slower rate of fire, 23.08, uh, the same as the stock gun, compared to 26.09 with the 25mm. Uh, um, so the 25 has got a higher rate of fire. I've got mine down to 2.16 with vents and 100% crew. If I was to go full seal clubber and go with... Um, Brothers in Arms as well for these two, then uh, that would go down even further, but I'm just probably not going to do that. Um, so, the penetration is less for the 25, uh, sorry, the penetration is more for the 25mm, 46 compared to 34, and 68 with APCR compared to 67 with APCR. Um, so, it does have much better penetration with AP, um, and only one millimeter more with APCR than the 37. Um, and it doesn't get to fire high explosive because it's such a small caliber shell, it's only 25 millimeters. The 37 does get high explosive, but then that's only 24 millimeters, which is probably enough to deal with a couple of tier 2s, probably. But then it only does 45 millimeters of average, pen uh, of average damage if it penetrates, though. Yeah, but then again, the damage is higher across the board for the 37 than the 25. 25 only gets 27 average uh, damage compared to 40 with AP and APCR. Um, and of course, no high explosive, so 27 with both types of ammunition on the 25mm is what you're going to get. The 25mm gun is more accurate and aims better with uh, 0.43 and 1.9 compared to 0.48 and 2. So it's more accurate, better penetration, Better rate of fire, weighs more, however, but it does have uh, yeah better penetration. However, it does less damage. So it's as to whether you want um, damage, alpha damage, or um, well, it's the whole thing with like um, the six pounder or the two pounder. They have high rates of fire, they have decent penetration, but they don't have very good alpha damage, and that's pretty much the choice that you've got between these two. You've got the two pounder version of well, it's less than the two pounder, so yeah. But you've got the French, the French versions, um, sort of, <laughs> the 37 and the 25. So it's it's really up to your own personal preference. Um, I just prefer having better penetration, really. Um, so yeah, there's the, that's what the 25 millimeter looks. It's a massively sticky out thing. Um, it looks funny. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, and then, once again, 24 degrees per second tire traverse, which is terrible. 300 meters uh, view range, which is standard, pretty much. 280, 260, 260. 320, 310, 320. 320, the Germans with their view range. Open top tank destroy, 300, 300. So, yeah, it's pretty standard for um, view range here. 310, 280. 300. However, the signal range is not very good at all. 290 meters signal range with its pathetic French radio. Um, 290 meters signal range is, really is very, very bad. Um, the Vickers VAE has got 300. The FCM has got 390. 325. 325. F um, 545 with their British radio. Um, 300. 345. 310. Uh, 350, 310. So, yeah, the radio is less than it would be on a regular tier 2, so the radio isn't really very good. But then again, you're a French tank, so who cares? Um, holds 150 20mm rounds, so don't be afraid to just 
spray and pray, really, with the 25. Don't know how many 37 rounds it holds, but um, I'm guessing it would be less because they're larger rounds. As for the equipment fit, I've just gone with improved vents. Uh, a spool liner wouldn't be a bad idea. You've got French tank armor. It's 40 all around. So, yeah, light spool liner isn't a particularly bad idea. Enhanced suspension to keep uh, that ten tank rolling. Just be a constant armored steel, just moving <laughs> across the battlefield, unrelenting. So, yeah, that'd be funny. Just to equip that and have a look. Um, camo net, no, you're a French tank. With the 25, you can snipe effectively, but you're a French tank, come on, you have the armour. Who doesn't want to charge your head in a French tank and just have things bouncing off the front of your French armour? So, it's up to you whether you want to be a sniper or an assault tank. <laughs> then, if your Amarok keeps getting damaged, then there's your wet Amarok. Binos, in case you want to be a sniper once again. Coated optics, not a bad idea. Enhanced gun lane drive, you don't need it for either of the guns really. Point 1.9 and 2, um, the very decent aiming time, so hold off on the enhanced gun lane drive, and toolbox is always useful, especially to keep this thing rolling. Because um, look at, I'm, to be honest, I didn't actually buy this thing to be a seal clubber. I just like the look of it, the same with this thing. I mean, this thing just looks amazing with, with these. I don't know whether these actually count as spaced armour, but the side skirts over the tracks, I just. It just looks so much cooler than, than the Hotchkiss. I mean, the Hotchkiss, if I was to buy it, then yes, I would be a seal clubber, but... The FCM I got for the look, because it does look very impressive. It it looks amazing with its sloping and things. And the Renault, I just thought, well, it's either a toss between this or the Hotchkiss. And this is the new one, and it's in HD, and I think it looks better, so I'm just going to go with this one. So, alright, yes, I did sort of buy this to be a seal clubber, but really I just wanted some... <laughs> I just wanted some low tier French tanks. I'm <laughs> they look cool. Um But yeah. So there's your equipment. Then of course you've got your standard consumables because yes, who wa doesn't want to run consumables? Noobs at tier two and newbies. Um because noob and newbie is different things, but it's only got a crew of two, a driver and a guy that does everything else. Um so the guy that does everything else is the commander, gunner, loader and radio operator. Um so yeah, battles fought one. Top gun steel wall, seven kills, ten out of ten. Wood seal club again. I felt very dirty playing that game. I the Um but yes, look at all these skills. I'm going with um Deadeye, because it's a rapid firing twenty five millimeter gun, so doing lots and lots of largely module damage is going to be very nice. So yeah, gonna get that first. Safe storage in case your ammo keeps getting damaged. Um Adrenaline Rush, Accelerate Gun Loading, a vehicle has less than 10% of its hit points left. Um, I would say that, however, the French tank autocannons aren't really going to penetrate your French tank. So, I would, down at like tier 2, 3 and 1, I would say that Adrenaline Rush is a good idea, because autocannons will generally leave you on, you know, 10 or 11 HP, which is going to be less than 10%. So, things like the t uh, T26, um, Things like the T7 combat car and the Light 6C, the Panzer II, the Panzer I. Um, those things that use autocannons and machine guns are going to leave you on less than 10% of your health. So at Tier 2, that's going to be more useful. However, in this French tank, autocannons aren't really going to penetrate you. Only things that do like 34 damage. So things that do that are going to... yeah, it depends. Um, so you could do, but I'd say probably hold off and get something better, more useful. You can go back to that if you want, but I'd say hold off on it for now. Intuition, um, with the 26, uh, 25 even, you shouldn't really need to... You shouldn't really need to have a whole load of APCR, if any at all, because the most armoured thing you're going to come up against is another French tank, and that has 40 millimeters at the most. So, a whole, don't, don't bother with any APCR. APCR unless you want to be a true seal clubber because you're angry that your um, T-18 uh, has been taken away and put as an artillery piece so but then again if you're using the 37 I can understand carrying a couple of a of um, APCR excuse me there um, so I would say no don't go with intuition unless you want to be a true seal clubber but other than that no relay hold off on that until you get signal boosting signal boosting is a must have situational awareness is definitely useful um, down at tier 2 always useful call for vengeance if you want um, up to you 
Snapshot, improve accuracy during turret rotation. Turret rotation is very slow, but sure, you could do. You could uh, increase your accuracy so that you lose like nothing whilst turning. Um, Armour, improve accuracy of damage gun. Yep, you could do. You're going to be getting lots of external module damage, such as gun track damage, so you could go with that. Designate target, make enemy vehicle visible for two more seconds. That's the same as one more shot with the Renault. Um, with the 25, at least. Um, so, yeah, you could do that. Um, it would probably not be a bad idea, actually. Um, Sixth Sense, always useful, as is Eagle Eye in conjunction with Dead Eye, because Eagle Eye in conjunction with Dead Eye, you can see all of your Dead Eye coming into play, because um, you will see all of that lovely um, module damage that you're creating. Jack of all trades, uh, there's only two crews, so that's going to be useless, because if your commander gets taken out, then yeah, and if your driver gets taken out, then it's only a driver. So you're not going to be going anywhere fast, with, even with the driver, so hold off on that. Don't go with it. Um, recon, always useful. Mentor, I don't see the point in because there's only one crew member, and then you've got your common skills. Um, and then for the driver, I am going with off-road driving, um, because 34 degrees per second, although not being particularly good, is alright, really. Um, so I held off on clutch braking. I'm going that, then clutch braking. Preventive maintenance, in case uh, you keep, in case your engine keeps getting set on fire, um, because you're running away, because you're French. Um, but then again, if you're in a Renault, they're going to be running away from you, because they should know the French by now, at low tiers, are deadly. Um, so... Yeah, prevent and maintenance if you want, but that's only if you keep getting set on fire. Then you've got a smooth ride, improve accuracy whilst firing on the move. You could do, because you can't, because you, you're not very fast, so you'll constantly be playing catch up to keep with the battle. So you could go with smooth ride, but up to you. And then controlled impact, you're probably not going to be ramming things. If you do, then you'll do very well, because you're a French tank and you have all the armour at the front, but you're not going to be going fast enough to really do that, so. Hold off on controlled impact, um, and then of course you've got your common skills, and that is the Renault R35. It's a very nice tier 2 um, light tank. Um, it is pretty much a seal clubbing tank if you're good, or at least decent enough, and there are some new people in, in the battles. So, I mean, yeah, alright. It it has pretty thick armour, but then again, the sloping isn't particularly much. There's some sloping there, which is at a very fine angle, but then after that, it's pretty flat armour all around. So if they can penetrate, if they have more than 40 millimetres of penetration and they're up close to you, they probably will penetrate if they aim for the flat bits. The turret will prove slightly problematic because it is slightly sloped at the front there and the sides are pretty rounded. Um, but yeah, I really got the French tanks for the look. Especially the FCM. The FCM just looks imposing. Look at it. <laughs> look at it. It's got spikes on it. Um, but yeah, the Renault, I just prefer the look of it. It looks nice. Um, and the 25mm is very good. Um, it's just a, it's just a very nice tier 2 light tank. Um, and I'll thank you for watching. And goodbye.